Strange things have been happening at the Middleborough Town Hall for some time now, leading many to believe the 140-year-old building is haunted. I wouldn't rule it out. If any place was going to be haunted, it, it would probably be this place. Professional ghost hunters are on the case. It's a locked door. Philip Brunel is leading the paranormal investigation on this night as part of his YouTube-based series, Mass Most Haunted. It definitely sounds credible. And the, the sources for the, um, for the stories of the paranormal activity are, are very credible people. Town Hall is hard to miss and has a long and at times dark history. It served as a jail, morgue, and was apparently cursed when it was built on Wampanoag burial grounds. Corrine Martin is a psychic medium who is helping with the paranormal investigation. I feel like people don't want to be here alone. Um, so, and I was drawn behind the stage for some reason. As soon as I came in, it was I was drawn to that door and behind, and it feels really heavy back there. So I'd be curious to work with that a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling like there's like nervous energy. That's part of them being nervous about the cameras. Some of the strange happenings have included floating orbs, apparitions, as well as unexplained noises and voices. Did somebody just whisper? The best known ghost is apparently the building's architect, Solomon Eaton, who died before construction was finished. I don't know, I've never seen the guy, so I think if I did, I'd probably go screaming out the front door. This is the third group of ghost hunters to go through Town Hall in recent years. This group hoping to have some success given our recent full moon. It's a time when paranormal activity is high. In Middleborough, Massachusetts, John Maroney, NECN.